Greetings, unsettled souls! Wait! Greetings, settled souls! Tis Sam I meet the Ganji with an amazing, happy, freaking good news show! For the only time that I have ever said it, Ooh, greetings, settled souls. Britain has left Gandhi, the European Union. I was trying to explain to Christelle. She's like ticking on a video game. I'm dying here. I was at work earlier. I'm in the DJ booth. I'm dancing like a drunken Irishman. My grandfather's name was Bryony. If that offends you, you're at the wrong show. I was dancing like a drunken Irishman. I couldn't, I, there was no, nobody in the building nerdy enough to care about anything I had to say. Britain has left the European Union. Do you have any idea what that means? Do you know what the Soviet Union was? The Soviet Union was an idea that turned into other communism in terms of controlling everything that you said did you were you weren't even allowed to think certain things meaning if you did think it you didn't dare say it okay um that's that's gone the european the the, the soviet union is is a, a relic of history okay it's in the dustbin of time here the european union put german banks in charge of damn near everything and it took away the sovereignty that is to say the independent will of the people away from the people and into one of many nations that were in the european union the camel the, the straw that broke the camel's back here was the amazing fail of allowing unvetted potential terrorists into the European Union in an effort to help the refugee crisis that was caused in Syria, with America proving to be wrong and funding terrible people in an effort to defeat Assad. Is Assad a good man? No, he is not. But the people that got the, the funding were much worse. And America played a large role in that. And that led to the Syrian problem. Well, Russia made the matters even worse by, for lack of better words, schlacking the entire population of terrorists that America funded. But in doing so, they decimated God only knows how many civilians. This created an influx of refugees that have gone into Europe. If you are a member of the European Union, you have to allow these unvetted, we have no idea who you are people in. Now this happens just as ISIS says, we are going to put our people in the mix. And the European Union is going to have to accept them because of the policy that is already drafted by the European Union. This has created a... Uh, I wish Christelle was up here because I went over all of this. I wanted her to remind me and she vanished. Um, this created Sweden, which was historically one of the most peaceful nations to ever exist even among their own people, to the rape capital of the world, the free world, perhaps. And this is because of unvetted um, acceptance of refugees. Am I saying that a starving parent should not be allowed into the country? No. I'm a lot more in the direction of Trump here, where he says that uh, we would uh, create a safe zone in Syria. And then... Uh, a number of countries, not just America, I believe him on this. A number of co countries would create a coalition and uh, ultimately control Syria and put it into the hands of more moderate uh, leadership elected by the people, in theory. 
But in essence, he wants to create a safe zone in Syria until something is done. Maybe you're a fan of Bernie Sanders. I don't know what his plan is on the Middle East, but you get the point. They want to create a safe zone within Syria. Well, the answer that the European Union has had has been to bring all of these people into Europe, and this has created a mess. It's created a rape culture. It's created a culture of terrorism. It has been a problem. The massacre in Orlando was caused by a lot of this kind of thinking. Um, People have had it. Britain left the European Union. They are their own country today. And this is good news for those of us in America for two reasons. One's the gold that I'm about to get to in a minute, which is why I'm so exuberant beyond the fact that we broke the back of fascism today. The elitists, they took it in the rear today. Let me go ahead and get my music ready for the evening. Here we go. This is for Queenie Queenie. And uh, and in England, there we go. We'll let this play for a second. We're going to screen share. And uh, maybe that's not a good idea, but I'm going to do it. Estelle's going to win the bet here. Um, Yeah, what are we seeing here? We are seeing the powers that want to control us and want to tell us what we have to believe. We're seeing them crashing. We're seeing a victory for the people that want to rule themselves and do not want to be ruled by some moron, to quote Johnny, does not want to be ruled by a bunch of elitists. They want to choose for themselves. And those people today have won a huge victory. A massive victory. We need to be celebrating this today. And this is the people of Britain saying we want to decide. We do not want to be part of a whole bunch of other nations at the side. This is beautiful. Um, the other thing I want to get to, and this is brought to you by One Express Transportation LLC. Uh, Make sure you check them out 24-7, one of the best transportation companies you can imagine, One Express Transportation, LLC. Um, BBC News, look at this, results in full, 51.9% in favor of leaving the European Union, thank God, remain 48.1%. And this brings us to some other news. And this is what I am thrilled about. I have been instructed, well, let me go to screen share so you can see those results. Um, I have instructed people that listen to the show to buy gold. I have said over and over again that there is something inherently wrong with the way that Britain was controlling the gold prices. Now, at the time, I didn't know that, I didn't understand the way that Britain was actually being part of the EU was leading to a lot of this problem. Those of you on the screen share already saw what I'm about to get to, so I'm going to get off it so you can actually watch the show. Um, Britain leaving the EU unfreeze a lot of the problems that were inherent in it. Also during times of questionable financial climates like we're seeing now the long term tends to be safe in gold and silver what we just see oh sorry johnny and at least for a minute we do in fact have a future uh, an 8.1% freaking future. Do you understand that? People that have stuck to the stock market did not just see an 8.1% increase in their money. If you did this, as I have told you to do, you have had a huge day. Now, the question is, do you sell or do you wait to see if it goes up more? Because here's what I think is going to happen in closing here on our bonus show. Here's what I think is going to happen. In the short term, I think Britain's going to have a bad year because there's going to be a transition here. And it's it's going to lead people to say that it was a mistake, that, oh, it was a terrible idea, but it's not. It's a win. It's just going to take a second for this to go all the way through to benefit them. 
Now, silver is down a little bit, but does anybody listening to this know how much silver is tied to the English pound? Because you can look for it to go up if um, the pound starts to recover, which many of us know it's going to do. That's another prediction. I was right on this one, so stay with me. Um, gold is up 8.1%. So you need to figure out whether or not you bought the gold for a short term or a long term. Um, I, I actually, I would call an advisor if I were you at that point. The point is, many of us have predicted that gold would go up huge. And we thought it would happen on Cyprus. Looking back, it's because of the EU, obviously. It's also because there's not enough money invested in Cyprus to make people panic and run to a commodity. All right, it just happened. You can, you, you can hear this. It's 4.16 in the morning. When markets open up, sell your gold. Thank the correct views. That's why you subscribe. Tell other people, hey, subscribe. Because that long-haired guy with the tattoos that you, you think doesn't know what he's talking about, he just made me 8.1%. Okay? I'm not nuts. I We nailed this one, friends. I hope you made a fortune on it. I really do. Thank you. It's great news, friends. Good night. God bless. I'm going to jump off here. You can donate at Patreon, and uh, it'll be in the description. I forgot to put it in, but I will. And it will be in the description. You can also donate at the correct views at hotmail.com. Every penny you give to me goes towards a better show. Just email me, let me know you want to help, and uh, I'll put it towards this show. Good night, friends. God bless. Hope you bought gold. Hope you make a fortune. Way to go people of Britain. I am so unbelievably proud of you today. God bless you.